I'll be honest with you, mate. The board have got to make a decision now, mate. They've got to make a decision now, yeah? Tonight, tonight. I'm talking about tonight, mate. Forget forget, forget the Tottenham game, yeah? Tonight, mate. No. Get him gone now, mate. I'm done with Oli. It's finished. Out of his depth. It's clueless, mate. That is that is out there, yeah? Respect. Yeah, yeah. That is out there, yeah? That is out there. Aston Villa, mate. Aston Villa, yeah? In the championship, yeah? That's his Aston Villa championship. Schooled in that game. Absolutely schooled in that game, yeah? There's no quality with Oli. Taking off Brandon Williams, yeah? Absolutely brilliant game we had, yeah? You bring out Luke Shaw. He didn't pass halfway line. Did not pass halfway line. Mate, tonight, tonight he's got to go, mate. I'm done with this, Oli, yeah? Save the season now or become a top 10 club. This is what the board have got to choose now. Save the club now and become a top 10 club. Get Pochettino in now, mate. I'm done with all this. Give all his time and all that, yeah? He, he, at the minute, yeah? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm trying to stay as a status of the football club. Club legend, yeah? He's trying to ruin his own legacy yeah, right now. He's trying to ruin his own legacy because the, the swearing's coming out of me now and I don't want to do that. He was a club legend of this football club. I get that, yeah? But I'm a manager right now. He's a manager. People need to be stop, stop getting blind, yeah? He's a football manager right now. And out there, yeah, it's clueless, mate. What was the formation that first half? You tell me. What was the formation that first half? I keep telling you all the time, mate. It's freestyle football. It's FIFA tactics out there, yeah? He's playing in people in different angles. Matt on the right hand side. You're telling Matt you're playing in the hole, yeah? And then halfway through the, halfway through the first half, yeah? You bring him on the right. Non effective on the right. Non effective. He's been non effective for the last four years in the football club. And you bring him on the right. Absolutely clueless this manager is, yeah? And then, and then again, Brandon Williams. And then you bring it on Mason Greenwood out there, hung it to dry up front, hung it to dry. Mings had martial strings the whole game. What do you do? Try put Fingy on the right hand side and then maybe do something together. Nothing, mate. Absolutely nothing. No ideas, no tactics, mate. And do you know what, mate? I'm done with this manager, yeah? Get Pochettino in now. Because I've got, people are saying about it's a boss fault. Yes, it's a boss fault. And the Glazers will always be here. Until the Saudis come, the Glazers will always be here. But you need to get a manager with the ideas, mate. You feel now, it's not a joke anymore, man. We are becoming a banter club. We don't want to be a banter club. We're Manchester United. I keep saying this all the time, yeah? We're Manchester United. When it, when it gets poor, yeah? What, what for manager sacked today? Sacked, bro. Sacked, yeah? To Arsenal manager sacked. Tottenham manager sacked. Who's the big club now? Who are the big club now? United are not big club club anymore. They're not. We are acting like a small club. We are an elite club. Elite club. I'm talking top level. Barcelona, Real Madrid. We are an elite club, but we're not acting like that. Get this sentiment out of football. There's no sentiment for me, yeah? I want what's best for my United, yeah? No sentiment. 99, forget it. That's 20 years ago. 20 years ago, that is, yeah? This is my United right now. And what Real United right now is an average team. Because you've got a manager here, no ideas, no throw tactics, yeah? You know what I mean? You're supposed to put it out of the team. What did Ferguson used to do at, towards the end of the game? You know what? Let's put full throttle towards the team there. No, you know what? Nah, let's make it safe. You're absolutely... Oh, and it's they've gone up the other end and scored! Oh, Chong has just gone and doubled his money. Not only is he going to get into trouble for missing, they've gone up the other end and equalised. Oh, Chongy. Chongy, Chongy, Chongy. What have you done? United literally had an open goal. He put it over the bar and Astana have gone up the other end and scored. That's football. We're not going to rant, but I, I, I'm in the Chong fan club because I know, I know what social media is like. They're going to absolutely bury a kid here. They're going to destroy Chong. And oh, my life. It's 2-1. And he's playing a violin. Astana score. And I think this is, the, this is the flip side of playing the youth, is that they need to keep their heads up. I predicted we would lose this game. So I'm not massively bothered about losing. It's just a lucky goal. Crosses it back, hits Bernard in the face and goes in. And I feel for it. He's nearly, he nearly scored an own goal already. And now he has scored an own goal. Ref's played on. Phil Jones. Saved by De Gea. Goal for Sheffield United. Piss off. Get stuffed. Bramble Lane. Bloody Bramble Lane. We're getting cut to shreds at the back there. Sponsored by Detel. It stings. It's disgusting defending from Manchester United. It's been bloody well coming. Musse just dropped Phil Jones like a little boy. He knocked him over on the ground. And Phil Jones, he has got the balance of a newborn foal. He's all over the place. He, I, th I thought he might have given a penalty away just before this, but he's in control of this ball over the top. He gets shoulder bar to the foot. You know what, actually? Is that not a foul? Should that not go to VAR? Is that, to be fair to Phil Jones, is that not a foul? At what point do you say that that's not a foul? He's there, the shoulder bar... Wow. It's a shoulder barge, but you see them get given as a foul. Phil Jones has got to be stronger. I don't think we're going to get a VAR review, but Phil Jones, you, you, you're massive. You're massive. You, you, you've got a good 
You've got big shoulders. Some would say you've got moobs, but you, you can't get knocked over like that. I can't believe I, I you know what? Is that a foul? Probably not. He's got the he's got the he's got the run on the striker. He's not strong enough. And I said this before the game. Phil Jones has started off really well, but he's an accident waiting to happen. And he's just if if Phil Jones costs us a goal today or costs us a result, everybody's gonna say He's been doing it for six years. Why are we still? Why is he still at the club? And he's gone and done it. And this, I feel sorry for the lad. I feel sorry for him because he will try his best. Of course he will. But why are we still picking him? He makes mistakes. He costs us games. And he's just cost us a bloody game. What? What? The fucking hell. What the fucking hell. Oh. I'm, I'm speechless. I'm absolute. It's two 0 It's two 0 I, 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 what, if, what? Well, what? First of all, I don't normally do this when you know I'd go two 0 down. But what a bloody goal! I, I can't believe he's beat Daya from there. I, I, I'm speechless. I'm at. It's Wambasaka into Pereira again. Pereira losing the ball, and Fred losing the runner. Maguire doesn't close him down. I don't know De Gea. I don't think De Gea should get beat from here. It starts with Pereira giving the ball away. I don't know. I, I, I don't... It's Maguire and Fred. They're holding hands. They're playing ring a ring of roses. Go and put a bloody tackle in. He doesn't have a... Ta at this level, you should not be running at the goal and getting a shot away. It's, an, it's a bloody good finish. I, I can't say anything else. It's a good finish. But again, with a masters of our own downfall. Zemias is there saying goal. Um... That's what happens when you one nil down. You know, sometimes teams scores score good goals, and that goal is it's Pereira in the midfield, and it's Harry Maguire, and it's Fred. Oh, they've bloody given it! You're joking! I bloody hate VAR! I hate VAR! I can't believe it! They've bloody given it! I've just tweeted I hate it! I, I've just tweeted I like it, and now I bloody hate it! Jokes! What a bloody joke! I can't believe that. That clearly is... It is it's, it's his arm. How does it stop if it doesn't hit his arm? Is your shoulder not part of your arm? It clearly hits his arm. Oh, you're joking. That's a joke. How does the ball stop? Has it got invisible powers? It bloody stops. Paul Robinson. I mean, I... I oh, no! No, Lindelof! I can't believe it! I can't believe this. Duncan Ferguson, he's looking in Passion Merchant again. And I, I feel for Lindelof here. I feel for Lindelof here. He stood there as nervous as John Terry in a spelling test. And it's gone in off him because there's nothing he can do. He's totally exposed. The cross comes in. De Gea jumps for it. I think VAR should review this. VAR should review this. Well, maybe it won't. Um, De Gea jumps for it. And it just, he misses it. And it lands Right on. He nearly goes in off his cock. It hits his knee. And there's nothing Lindelof can do. There's nothing he can do. Well, look by Harry Maguire. So, Oh, no, no, no. No. Oh, my life. What's De Gea done? What has De Gea done? He's bobbled it in like Michael Jordan. He's hooped it in. What is he doing? He bounces towards De Gea. He goes to catch it and pass, catches it against the bar. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Stung by the Scorpions. Or the Hornets or whatever Watford are called. A penalty. I didn't even see it. I've just sat down. What? What? I didn't even see the penalty. You're having a laugh. I've just come back into the room. What's going on? What's the penalty all about? I'm sat here settling back down saying we've got to get back into it. What was the penalty all about? I can't believe this. Deeney scores. Jesus Christ, it's Christmas, isn't it? It's bloody Christmas for Watford and it's Deeney who makes it 2-0. I tell you what, I tell you what, this is, this is ridiculous. I don't even know what the penalty was for because I just went to get a quick drink to calm myself down after a De Gea mistake and, uh, and, and Troy Deeney makes it 2-0. I didn't even know we conceded a penalty. I can't even comment on what the penalty was all about. He goes straight down the middle and United are sinking so low now that their feet are being tickled by Kylie and Jason in Australia, if they even live in Australia now. Who's from Australia? Are Anton Deck still there? The Australian rugby team, they are sinking so low, they are into their depths of despair.
this type mate, of team. I tell you what, mate, average manager, mate. That's all I'm going to say, mate. Oh, them, yeah. them lot out there, yeah, I'm telling you right now, mate, bunch of bottlers, mate. Absolutely all of them, mate. Bunch of bottlers, mate. And where does that, that come from, yeah? It's a style of play, yeah? I t I've been telling you, I've been telling you, people are getting gassy. I said to you, listen to it. When, when the lower league teams come, yeah, I said, this is when, when you're going to see the real test of Oli and the real kind of manager we've got. And all of them, yeah, mate, bunch of bottlers, mate. Where was yeah, where was the game plan today? To, please tell me what was the game plan. They had no midfielders today, bro. They had no midfielders. They took the piss out of us today, bro. They had that guy, yeah, with the ponytail on, yeah? And, and in the midfield, yeah, one midfielder, yeah, running around this whole gate. What are we doing? What is this club doing? What does this club want, man? Only going to social today got it wrong today again. He what did, wrong, what did Freak could he have done? He picked the team that we no, wanted to see. Find a player. When, he, when, he, when, he, when he gets back to the front, yeah, when the bats against the wall, yeah, when the bats against the wall, you need to have something about you. You need to have something about you, bro. And it's no fight here, bro. It's no style of play. You have to break the teams down. And proper manager, yeah, a proper manager will find a way of winning. But this manager here, yeah, nothing, mate. It's nothing. And all of them, yeah, they're a bunch of bottlers. What about, what about, what? I know you, City, they, yeah, they, got, they got up for Spurs. It's not a coach, man. It's not a coach. You've got to drill these players in and you've got to find a way of playing, bro. You know what I mean? Mash out there, lost, bro. Nothing. There's no one in the hole, yeah, to do something. We haven't got one. Lingard, yeah, when, it's, when we play counter attacking football, yeah, it's brilliant. And that's what this manager's all about. It's counter attacking football. We can't do that for 90 minutes every single game. You've got to find other ways of playing. And I keep telling you all the time, we've got to find keep ways of playing. But we don't have that with this manager. It's the same old, same old, same old. Even when Mason Greenwood came on, it was same old, same old. There's nothing there, man. And this is what you're going to get with this manager. And we had a chance today, Flex. We had a chance here to make it two, two points behind Chelsea. What do we do again? We bottled it again, mate. That first half was shocking, mate. Absolute shock. Luke Shaw, what is he doing? Tell me, what is he doing? Giving the ball away like that for... I'm not blaming Lindo for that for that goal. Yeah, I'm blaming David Gea. Let's be real out here. He went out there and... Not he a lot of people have spoke about him. No, he I mean, did try and come. I mean, no, that's what I'm saying. He, he come and tried to punch the ball. Yeah, um, it it kind of looked like it looked like the, the, the kind of old David Hay, like when he yeah. first came and he was really struggling with that physicality. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying to you. He went in there and hit and hope, yeah, and then we got caught with the one goal. But Everton, mate, that was the easiest point they'll get all season. Easy team, yeah. I'm telling you that now, a better team, yeah, destroy us, mate. Man City, when we come up to Man City, mate, no mercy, mate, no mercy. Sheffield United today, they showed mercy today. They, they sat back the thought United can't do anything. We came out. Freestyle football, Mason Green would come on, do, does what he wants before. You know what? Forget this, forget Oli, yeah? I'm going to do what I want to do. Lingard running around, he's the only one what's called one goal since uh, 2018. Today, messing around, you know what I mean? Doing what he wants, freestyling. And that's the, that's the manager of Man United. No tactics today, absolutely non existent. People are telling me, oh, it's free at the back, don't come, what are you complaining for? When you complain, I'm complaining because you've got a manager that have no ideas. Playing Jones, yeah? Not, not starting this season. And you tell him, you know what? We'll put it in the fighting line. Sheffield United's game is based on lumping it forward, trying to create uh, 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 errors in, in the back here, making it messy. They're not about ticker tackle. Maybe they play sometimes against Burnley that goal, but it's not about ticker tackle. They play the simple way, and that's what's got them to, to where they are now, yeah? Oligo Solskjaer, what do you do? Make the midfield compact. Pereira in the centre midfield, yeah, is absolutely a travesty. This guy should never play in that centre midfield ever again. And we knew that would be a problem going never into again. it, especially without Never Matomini. again, mate. Absolutely travesty. Absolutely hung him to dry. Oli hung him to dry today. You know what I mean? But for me, yeah, Phil Jones, absolutely do not want to see this guy ever again. Absolutely shocking today. I mean, it's as bad as it is, yeah, I'm behind the goal, yeah, you can't see anything. My back's hurting today, bro, because I can't see anything behind the goal. I'm seeing shite football again, man. And then United fans are clapping. Clapping for what? 3-3 free, free against Sheffield, man. They're thinking this is the only Sheffield United today. It's not good enough, mate. It's not good enough. I know this manager here, I'm not accepting it. This is my United Football Club. We should be winning 2 3 nil every game. At these lot, should be swiping them aside. Don't Listen, Oli got out, man. Get rid of him. Monday morning, announce the sacking. Get rid. Reason I tell you this, the guys have got a clue. Lay changes every single time. You believe me, if you give him tra transfer money yeah, in the January, do you honestly believe he's going to turn around? His decision making is what I'm worried about. Why is he playing Mason Greenwood? Why is he why is he waiting 85th minute to make to put Mason Greenwood on? Mason Greenwood saved his ass many times, yeah, and he's dying for a start. And Angel Gomez, one of the good players, yeah, always talks about youth and he hardly plays him. Now, I already said it, yeah, long time ago. When Mourinho gets sat, appoint someone that knows that, that that's got experience. He hasn't got a clue. Tactic yard that everyone's saying now nah, I'm not Poch first choice, yeah. My choice is Allegri and people say he's defensive, yeah. But if Poch is available now, grab him. The reason why I say this, he's better than Oli. Oli is not doing himself any favours at all whatsoever. Every single time, I know Nuruddin there is talking about structure, structure. You don't need fucking 300 million to be Villa. You don't need 300 million to be Sheffield United. 
You know what I mean? These kind of teams with Man United, you're supposed to beat them. And is that is that what you mean in terms of the quality that we do have? We're, we're, we're not seeing we're not seeing that. Yes, we know there's a rebuild to be done. We have to be patient. But what you're saying is, from a tactical point of view, from a coaching point of view, what we're seeing now is 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 not good enough for the players that we actually actually have. No, but with another manager, you can lift yeah. the players up. With another manager, look, forget the league. We're not going to compete for the league for years. Maybe four or five years, yeah. But Oli, he's a, that, we're not. We're supposed to beat teams like that. The way he's the way he sets the team up, it's just Pereira plays. Um, I already said about Pereira. He's a squad player. He doesn't know. He hasn't got a clue. He hasn't got a clue. I was just talking to Adam here, and he was he, what he said was spot on. Literally, the tactics are try stay in the game. And if you get a chance, half a chance, try and make something that, something out of it. And if we get a goal, that's cool. That's literally what it is. I mean, I know we can't keep a lead, yeah? Everyone here knows it. But we can't keep a lead for two minutes, Flex. Two minutes. Two minutes. It was less than that. That's all it took for them to come back into the game. Two minutes less than that. It's just not good enough, man. 2-2. Two, two. We're drawing 2-2, two, two, yeah? We need a goal. Everyone can see it. We need a goal. Bring Greenwood on. Why, why did you bring Luke Shaw on? Why did you bring him on? I know Nudin was saying maybe he got injured. No, because Brandon Williams went to sit down straight on the, on the bench. We needed a goal flex. Why are you bringing on Luke Shaw? It's just questions like that. The make is just things like the make you scratch your head. Like, why are you bringing on Luke Shaw? It's 2 2. We need a goal. Bring Greenwood on. I don't. Yeah, whatever. And, and when, he, uh, when Martial went off, I don't know what it is. I don't know if, if he's got an injury or not. But if he's injured, we're fucked against Spurs. We're fucked. This is the second championship team technically speaking, that we can't beat. Like, it's just not good enough, well, man. How